Hey everyone, this is another fan that I'm also borrowing from my friend Dan Spiffy Newman, since I am not far from him. So, uh, I'm also, this here is uh, a Montgomery Ward labeled uh, Evergo Spinner in Antique Brass. And just to take the camera off the stand, here, this one is new in box and he let me borrow this one since he sold another one to someone that I was I was also interested in this fan that he had for sale but he had another one more used for sale but he let me uh, have and borrow this uh, teak wood and antique brass see if it says anywhere what it is there is a okay well well I just know uh, why I know it's a Montgomery Ward because uh, I am going to start off with this uh, factory control that it actually gave it's a wall control it's a transformer based control now what I did was I plugged hooked up this control here and plugged it in place of the decade box so decade box is out and I'm gonna try this control and to see what it draws so we're gonna actually it's a five speed transformer based control that I'm gonna try the factory speeds so let's uh, start with five which is low and it's drawing point two three Definitely a good low. I usually expect these uh, transformer based controls to actually give too fast of a low. That's what's typical most of the time, but this is actually a decent low speed. This is actually a good low. Yeah, surprisingly. Okay, so uh, here's four, which is uh, next speed up, which is drawing 0.29. So basically, like a medium low. All right. Three point three six, which is medium. I'm going to let it get up to speed. But one thing is, you can see this is actually light kit adaptable. And there's actually a little plate I put on the bottom to cover up the wires that would come out the bottom of the motor. There's an adapter piece, a nipple, that you would put on to put a light kit on this. So this is light kit adaptable, but now this has the same type of motor as almost the gold line, the old union-made gold line, so a very similar motor, but with that flat bottom there, it gives it like a Pelco shape, so it's like a ribbed motor of the uh, gold line, but I I like to say Pelco shape, just because of the flat bottom there. <coughs> All right, number two, which is point five. I saw that this this motor is uh, rated for uh, point seven amps. It's already flying, so this is like medium high. And here is speed one, which is high. And this thing is flying. Definitely flying. And it is drawing 0.79 amps, so a little, little above what it says it would draw, but that's okay. That's all right. It's... It's okay that it draws a little more, so. I'm feeling air. It's giving a good amount of air. It's still, even though this has got that similar motor to an industrial, this one still puts air movement. Yeah, as far as distant air movement, like I saw, it's like a 
me and Dan like to say uh, spinner category, like Hunter Spinner. I don't know that this is quite K55 at a distance, but it's a good amount of air under it, I'll tell you that. All right, going to do spin down. And what I'm going to do is uh, take out this control and plug the decade box back in, and we're going to simulate a modern wall control that is capacitor based. This fan does not reverse, so we're going to go right to decade box when this is done spinning down. Okay, well, it's actually done spinning down. I was looking at the control here. And we're going to try with the decade box. One, two, three. Oh, it just started to move. Four. Okay, 0.18 on four. Took a little bit to get it going. So this one's got enough static low. Here's 5.23, so the same as the uh, wall, the other wall control that I was doing. So you get that same uh, kind of a slow low with that. All right. It's flopping between 0.22 and 0.23. Here's 6, 0.27. All right. Here's 8. Oh, here's 7, actually, with 0.31. Here is 8 with 0.35. So if I hung this in my bedroom, I'm going to see, I'm probably going to keep it on the 6, 8, 14. 6 was a nice slow low, and this is actually a good uh, low medium. So here's 9 with 0.39 or 0.4. It's flopping back and forth. Here is 10 with 0.43. Here is 11. I added the 10 plus the 1 on the decade, which is 0.48. Here's 12, 0.52, 13, 0.54, 14, 0.57. Oh, yeah, definitely good speeds. Definitely good speed range right there with 6, 8, 14. I could definitely just use the control that I got and but this is nice and new and I would definitely definitely use this as a bedroom fan at one point in time I will probably do that and I'll put a light kit on it whatever I feel like putting on it or whatever I can put on it more likely 15 with 0.6 16.62 17.64, 18 .66, 17 .67, 19 is 0.67, I'm sorry, I'm 20 .69. I'm pretty close to high, 
Well, high was like 0.79. Let's just see. There's still somewhat of a difference, but I think 8 is just too fast of a low for uh, an 8, 12, 20. So I think uh, a 6, 8, 14 is actually my best choice for control. And just for grins, 25, I know uh, 0.79 is my max current draw that I should, 0.7, so I'm on 30. Thirty-five point seven eight. Okay, I'm right on the money with uh, with point seven nine as the maximum current draw, and I have maxed out the decade system with forty microfarads. So now I'm going to do. Now I'm going to do the uh, variable speed control. What I'm going to do is see how this reacts on the uh, variable speed dial. Start inching it up. Okay. 0.23 is where it started and it's just right at 3 o'clock on the dial. 0 0.28, 0 0.33, 0 0.37. I'm usually looking at uh, low medium to see where this thing, how noisy it actually gets. It's quieter than the Dayton's. And I'm yeah, I'm questioning living room quiet, but that just made how it sounds here, but it's actually not bad. I mean, I've heard worse than this. This is actually pretty decent. 0 0.43. 0 0.5, 0 0.52. Yeah, it's starting to get noisier yet. 0.59. But even that uh, five-speed control is quieter than the solid state, so. 0 0.65, 0 0.66 actually is what it's drawing. 0.73. And here's high with 0.77 flopping between 0.77 and 0.76 and I think it's stabling out at 0.76 for solid state high alright I'm going to stop it by hand again alright and the last test is zero to high and check the inrush current. 0 0.85. 0 0.85 is the inrush that it draws to accelerate the fan and it's going to drop. It should drop to 0 0.79. Yep. But I like this fan. I love these Evergo fans. I've always liked them. I was always drawn to these as a little kid. Always. So, they're very much, I was drawn to these and industrials, like gold lines especially. So, any of these spinner fans, whether they are industrial or residential like this, that do not have switch housings, I tend to be drawn to that I favor a lot. So, other than that, that is all I have for this uh, this Montgomery Ward's Antique Brass Evergo spinner. And I'll see you next time with another fan.